Hey guys, Adam Retro Moments here, and it's a beautiful day, even though uh, there's uh, a bit cloudy outside. Because we are going to do some retro game hunting today. So in front of me here, it's the book of that I'll be going to first, and then there's also a hard of nearby that I will of course go and visit. So yeah, so far I would say that uh, book of is actually a bit better than hard of, comparing prices. Uh, most of the things that I bought so far is uh, book of actually. But all right, so we have to go. walk by this grocery store first, and here on the second floor is the book of plus. So this is supposed to be a bit bigger than the regular book offs. So hopefully they will have way more stuff here. So all right, let's start here first with looking at the game shelf where they usually put the more expensive games. Nothing that I recognize from the top there. Super Famicom games. It's kind of hard to tell here from the side. We got Rockman and Bass 2.7. Uh, Mega Man X 3 1.8. Let's see here Donkey Kong 64. That's not really something special in my opinion, even though it's a really good game. Uh, Sega Saturn. Alright, let's continue on. Over here is the old soft, all the older generation games. So let's see here, I've already been here and been looking around and uh, there wasn't really much much unique stuff going on here. It's, it's the games that's usually here, you know. We got the classic Mario games and Donkey Kong and yeah, that, that's about it actually. Uh, let's see here if there was something that I can uh, uh, pick out. Oh right, uh, Chrono Trigger is always nice to see, even though it's actually kind of common here in Japan. So the price is very low as you can see. 900 yen with 20% uh, off, not bad for being the best RPG on the SNES. Uh, let's see here, was there anything more? Well, Donkey Kong 2 in excellent condition it's uh, the best Donkey Kong Country game in my opinion at least uh, some Game Boy stuff N64 loose cartridges yeah that's about it let's move on because I know that there's more things on the other side I don't know why they wouldn't put all the games together because that seems way easier or maybe they just want me to go around the whole shop but here there should be more games here we got some newer stuff first off Nintendo Switch boxed with their regular prices some Nintendo figures we got a few 3DS's there PS4 PS4 1 terabyte 24,000 yen yeah no bargains to be made there really yeah. Let's move on here, we get some PS3s that are gonna stand there forever, pretty much, I guess. At least the first model is good that can play PS1 and PS2 games as well. Moving on, some consoles, Wii, and it's 200 gen! Two bucks for a Wii console! That's absolutely crazy. Here's a cool uh, limited edition Monster Hunter 3, boxed. Looked pretty cool actually. And GameCube. 14 bucks. It's crazy. GameCubes are so cheap here. And of course the Wii's as well. As you can tell here. PS3 boxed. It's the first model at least. With 80 gigabytes. That's the one to get if any if anything. PS3 I guess. Some controllers here. Let's see. Controllers for Wii and Wii U. How much are they going for? Yeah, nine bucks. That's the price to be expected, I guess. Yeah, what else is here? Controllers, adapters, N64 controller box. Pretty cool. Jungle green version. But let's head over now to uh, one more area that got the game stuff. So it should be over here. So we 
got one more glass shelf here with stuff. And as you can see, there are two cases. One for M64. Pretty cool, 3,900 yen. Definitely uh, not bad. It's not every day you see these kind of cases. And here's one with Yoshi's Island, the Super Famicom. Looks pretty neat actually. 3,980. And inside you can put the console and a few cartridges in there. It's pretty cool actually. Let's continue here. Oh, this one, Time Crisis. The first Time Crisis boxed. And it's going for one dollar. You say that, it's one dollar. That's pretty crazy. Such a fun game, I love the Time Crisis series. Definitely, definitely a must if you like arcade style shooting games. Yeah, so let's see here. A lot of cables and uh, accessories. Uh, also computer cables, some Wii stuff. And there's some kind of fishing rod there for PS1. I don't know if that's anything to call fun, really. We got a Super Famicom controller. One dollar. It's probably working. And this is not a game, unfortunately. It's just the case for the Switch game there. Xbox controller. And here we got a multi-tap for the PS1. Or actually some pretty cool games you can use this with, like uh, Street Racer and Bomberman. 300 yen, not bad. What else do we got here? Nothing interesting I think. Cables. Uh, I don't think there's anything here, it's just computer stuff. So one more area. Here, there should be way more stuff. Joysticks, game cubes. Oh, GameCube consoles for a, for a dollar. Not bad. Probably untested. And that's why they're going so cheap. Nintendo DS. Anything more fun? Oh, Joy Card. It's that special uh, controller for the N64 uh, that was released with the Bomberman games. Or one of them at least. So you got a few extra buttons there could be useful when you play Bomberman. That's pretty cool, it's not every day you see this actually. Yeah, Wii controller, a blue Wii controller, pretty cool. Some fake console, I would stay away from that actually. Not sure what that is. Yeah, there's so much random things here actually. And let's see, here is uh, the Maracas for the Dreamcast. Never played this game, but 780. Seems like a fair deal to me. <coughs> and Donkey Konga. That's pretty cool. It was used with a platform Donkey Kong game where you control the donkey with the drums, actually. Then it was also made for another game that was kind of like Rock Band and Guitar Hero. Where you drum to music. So, yeah. One dollar for that, it's boxed. I guess nobody wants to play that anymore. And here we got a drumming game where you use like sticks. Uh, I think I've seen this in the arcades from Namco. Let's see here at the back. From what I could see in the arcade, it looked kind of fun actually. Uh, let's keep going here. We got Mario Paint boxed for seven dollars. That's pretty crazy. I, this is the first time I've even seen this boxed, at least. Yeah, not sure if this is so much fun nowadays. And here's the just the mouse, which is used with Mario Paint. And some other uninteresting games, I guess. Super Scope. I made a review of this to see if it still holds up today. So if you're interested in that, you can click on my channel and uh, check it out. Man, four dollars boxed. That's pretty crazy. Since this is going for like a hundred dollars in Europe at least. The European version then, of course. Some cool arcade stick, I guess. For PlayStation or Sega Saturn, I believe. Yeah, built pretty well. Has a nice feeling to it. And here we have the infamous 
Beat Mania. It was released for PlayStation 1. You could make music. I guess that's not how people want to make music nowadays. And here we have a PlayStation wheel from <laughs> Logicool. Not Logitech. Logicool. Okay. If that's what it's called here. 3D glasses. For, uh, for a phone. Nobody cares, I guess. So I think we're finished here. Not much more to see, so uh, let's head off to Hard Off and find the true stuff. Alright guys, I am now at Hard Off, so uh, you'll be able to sing along to their little song soon enough. Oh man, it has to be horrible to work here, get that song stuck in your head, and never being able to sleep properly. Some collectible items, like usual. Pretty cool stuff, nothing that I want to get into though. And here we got the games, Super Famicom stuff. So let's see here, Metal Max. Don't really understand why that's so popular, but here's a cool one. Super Pang. It's a very simple, simple game. But a lot of people like it and it's quite pricey usually, at least in Europe and the US I believe. So yeah. Here it is for 2,500 yen. Seems pretty reasonable. Rockman X2, 2,500. That has to be a pretty good price too, I think. Let's scroll through here. So you guys can see what kind of games they got here. A lot of Donkey Kong, a lot of Mario Kart, like always. And the Dragon Quest games. Secret of Mana. And of course, Street Fighter 2. Yeah. Donkey Kong 3 there, Final Fantasy games. Here is a cool one. Dragon Ball Z 2. That's pretty cool. I remember liking one of those games, I can't really remember which one. But it's a cool fighting game where you can fight in the air and, and that kind of stuff. Okay, let's see if there are some more cool games here. We got Sailor Moon R, which is actually a surprisingly nice beat em up game. So you walk around in the streets and fight evil people, just like in Final Fight and uh, Streets of Rage. So uh, it's uh, working pretty good. Let's look for something more here. What do we got? Pop and Twin Bee. Super cool uh, shoot 'em up game or cute 'em up as they call it when they are very colorful, the shooters. So, yeah, I played this for quite some time a few years ago and it's actually kind of fun. It uh, got me into the shooting genre overall, so I would definitely recommend that one. We got the Kirby with the wooden artwork, really neat. I really like that one actually. Yeah, here we got a classic one. Aladdin, a short but a really sweet game, and it's also really good for the Sega Mega Drive or Genesis. We got some cartridges here. Mystical Ninja is always a good one. I cannot recommend that enough. Play that if you're into Japanese kind of games. It was also released in uh, US and Europe. We got some Virtual Boy games here. I don't have that console yet, but. Uh, Sooner or later I'll probably get my hands on it. Mario Tennis there. And here we got Super Mario Bros. USA. Which is actually Super Mario Bros. 2 but the Japanese people were so fast in releasing Mario Bros. 2 that it just looks like number one with more levels. We got Rockman 4. $13. Let's see if there are some more Famicom games that are cool here. What about Game Boy games? It's the usual kind of stuff that you can find in all the hard offs I think. Let's see here on the other side, we got some Dreamcast, Xbox 360. Let's see here, we got Biohazard of course, Resident Evil. Good game and this one is definitely good. Soul Calibur, first one. Played that a lot when it was released actually. And finally we got some Neo Geo AAS stuff. Samurai Showdown 2. I already bought this game and uh, I bought it for 1,900 yen actually and here it's for 3,000. Still not a bad price but it's, uh, it's a good game that you need to have in your collection. Here's another good one. A very common game for being AAS at least. 
we got Final Fight Special. Super fun game, even though I prefer the, the real bout Fatal Fury games. And the last game there is Art of Fighting 2, 3.7. Uh, not the best price, you can get it complete for that kind of price actually. We got Donkey Konga again, a little more expensive here, but still not expensive really. N64 stuff, it's the usual stuff that you can find everywhere. N64 stuff is so cheap, it's crazy, just look here, Mario 64, $14 in excellent condition. Moving over, we got some PS1 stuff here, arcade stick, PSP, PS Vita. Yeah, I'm not really into that. I've never owned a PSP or PS Vita actually, so I don't really know much about it. Sega Saturn, it's pretty cool, 4.3. Playstations, and here we got a boxed Playstation. It's pretty neat. A lot of PS3s, like usual. There are so many of those PS3s. And here we got a boxed N64, good condition, and uh, AV Famicom 8.8, .8. that seems, seems kinda expensive, but it, the condition was really good. And of course, GameCube stuff, yeah, pretty cool. What do we got here? Nothing interesting, I think. Yes, it's time to check the junk section now. Are you guys ready for this? There seems to be a lot here actually. And in this hard off you can actually tell. There's a picture on the bin what it is. So uh, let's start with the Super Famicom stuff. That's always interesting to see. It's one of my absolute favorite consoles so uh, that's always a priority actually. Most of the games that I have are Super Famicom or SNES games. Yeah let's see here. Looks like there will be some good stuff here. We got Mario Kart. Boxed. 500. That's definitely the cheapest Mario Kart I've seen here. 5 bucks. I mean, come on, that's nothing. Uh, not sure what this is. Doesn't look too exciting, honestly. Dragon Quest, as usual. And here we got Battle Clash for the Super Scope. Another Japanese game. And Dragon Ball 2 complete. 400 yen. One dollar for this. Oh, that's so cool. I'm definitely buying that. No doubt. And let's see here. What is this? Also 100 yen. Never seen this game before, if anyone knows if this is a fun racer, then uh, comment down below. Yeah, I guess that's it. Let's see the cartridges here. Uh, I don't think there was anything, I've already been looking through here of course. Donkey Kong Country 3, 300 yen. Pretty good, even though you can get it for uh, 500 complete actually. Let's see here, Famicom games. We got Yoshi's Cookie, I think it is. Uh, box is a little broken, but uh, yeah, it looks kind of cool actually. I like the artwork on it. And we got Mario Bros. 1, of course, 200 yen. Let's see if there's anything here. No Mr. Gimmick. No, I guess not. Mr. Gimmick is actually my favorite Famicom or NES game. Uh, but it's nowhere to be found here. It would surprise me too much since it's a very rare game. PS1 stuff. Let's dive in a little bit, shall we? We got the uh, Crash Bandicoot. And the artwork is really cool actually for the Japanese version. Way better than the Western version for sure. A cool fighting game there too. And uh, doesn't seem to be... Anything special in here, I think. Let's move on. We got one more bin with PS1 stuff. And we got some Game Boy stuff. Oops. Nothing too exciting here, I guess. Pokemon Silver, 300 yen. Alright, moving on. We got some controllers. SNES controllers. 
good looking ones feel good too and the price is of course 300 yen as usual yeah usually you don't find it for under that price but it's a good price actually N64 controllers they're a little more a little more expensive do we got anything fun here what is this doesn't look too good and always always the first gun con and that's probably because there's not a lot of CRTs left in Japan. A Dreamcast controller there too. Alright, let's move on to the next area. The lady looking for music stuff here. We're not looking for that though. We got an orange GameCube. I believe they were only released in Japan actually. A thousand. Yeah. That seems pretty good actually. It's not often you see those actually. And of course we got a boxed Super Famicom. Pretty good condition, not the best, but still kinda good. And of course there are Wii's here like usual and some Famicom and here's one that is not yellowed actually. Go for a thousand, which is definitely a, a good deal. And we got the silver GameCube also. Boxed N64. Yeah, definitely some good prices here for the consoles. Not bad at all. Too bad it's a little hard to to bring it overseas. We got a Dreamcast going for 2000. Those are still rising in price. Every time I see one for sale in Europe, they're going for around $100. So that's pretty crazy. And a very good looking SNES or Super Famicom. Ten dollars. Ten dollars. That's pretty crazy. And also PS1 stuff. A little more pricey. Shouldn't really be actually. And do we got something here? Yeah, we got an N64 laying back here. Two thousand. Real nice to see them so cleaned up with a cheap price actually. And down here we got the messy stuff apparently. Here's another PlayStation. Three bucks. And we got game cubes and we got a lot of things I don't even know what it is. Konami released a guitar. I had no idea about that. And here's a good one, Time Crisis 2. Found Time Crisis 1 in Book Off and here's 2. Boxed. That's pretty cool. I would go on and say that number three is my favorite actually. But they're all cool. And uh, steering wheel for Sega Saturn I believe it is. And a game gear that seems broken or something. Or uh, maybe it's just missing the hatch back there. But here we got something cool. One more case for Super Famicom the Mario World one which looks even cooler in my opinion than the one that I found in Book of for Yoshi's Island and it's just 500 yen whoa that's so cheap I'd, I'd really like to buy this one but we'll see about that yeah but that's it for today actually if you enjoyed the video put a thumbs up and uh, Remember to subscribe so you don't miss my next videos. See you guys at the next time.